Water Music from the Suite Number no. 1 by George Frederick Handel. We heard the Vancouver Radio Orchestra conducted by Mario Bernardi here on the new Classical 96.3 FM. It's 11.30, and it's my pleasure to welcome a very special guest to our studio, Sara Petrov from the Petrov Gallery on Eglinton West, just west of Bathurst. Welcome. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. You're having quite a special month at the Petrov Gallery, which has been a fixture on Eglinton for a long, long time now. Uh, tell us all about it. This is an exhibition from Gordon Harrison, who's an outstanding uh, artist from Ottawa. It is a visually spectacular, very rich. Uh, these are landscape pieces uh, from across Canada. Gordon Harrison has been compared to the group of seven painters, but, but he's more than that, really. Yes. You know what? I think anybody who is going to delve into the Canadian landscape is going to be compared to the group of seven because those are, that's the icon. Um, his, his handling of color and his handling of the medium of oil paints is so much more um, contemporary, a little pushing the envelope, a little bit more abstracted and quite, um, quite a, a style of his own. He studied at the University of Toronto, also at the Ottawa School of Art. And I have a quote here that I want you to comment on. Uh, he says that his art is impressionism, realism. My brush strokes are broad, loose, and intense, yet my subject matter remains clear. Mm -hmm. Your reaction? Uh, actually, well, I would say it's well said. Uh, impressionism, realism refers to... Um, impressionism is, is the the effect of light on, on objects. And, and um, the Impressionists, when, when they were painting, it was all the effect of, of how light would fall on scenery. So that is how he's, he's using uh, the term Impressionism in his painting. Realism has more to do with the fact that, you know, the, 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 the birches are birches and the, the, waters, the waterfalls are, are quite luscious and wet and, and moving and full of... Uh, dynamism. So in that respect, they are quite real. Um, but again, this is, he's, it's almost a genre of his own because it's, it's combining uh, historical techniques with his own fingerprint, essentially. But you know, you know it's a tree. You know it's a rock. You know you it's know, a yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. As opposed to just your imagination. or, or what, what did he mean by that? <laughs> the, uh, the word passionate comes to mind, and, and obviously this man is very passionate about nature. Yes. Well, he is not only passionate about uh, you know the the world around us and the Canadian landscape specifically because it has such a a textural and a, and a very um, uh, inherently Canadian feel to it, mm -hmm. but he is also very passionate about um, bringing that to to the public, not only uh, in terms of uh, people who are purchasing his paintings, but he also brings it to children. He goes into schools. He, ha he sets up programs for kids to to learn uh, how to paint and uh, he's he's quite a um, a passionate yeah, artist as word. a whole as it, a whole it, it yeah. really is. now he's going to be here at your gallery tomorrow tell yes. us about that he well he's coming in from Ottawa and um, this uh, tomorrow afternoon he's arriving at five o'clock he'll be giving a talk on his work at seven o'clock talking about his influences and uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what else he's going to be speaking about because he, the floor is his and I look forward to it. I will be a student of his as everybody else in, this, in the room will be. And uh, he will be continuing to exhibit until the end of the month. So our listeners will be able to actually meet with him and then chat with him and hear this. Tomorrow, 5 to 9, is the uh, official opening reception for the Fall Rhapsody Exhibition of the Paintings of Gordon Harrison. And uh, as Sarah has told us, the... Uh, Exhibition goes on throughout the entire month. Uh, you started on the first of November, and mm. how's it going so far? Beautifully. You know what? It was. It was. It's already been quite well attended, and a number of the paintings have actually found uh, homes. And he's actually bringing in more paintings on his way in tomorrow because so many of them have uh, have left. So get there before they're all gone. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> definitely something to come and see. Yeah. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you, Sarah Petrov, for joining us. Uh, Sarah with the Petrov Gallery. Again, 1016 Eglinton Avenue West, just west of Bathurst. It's impossible to really understand a painting on radio, but you do have a website. We do have a website, PetrovGallery.com. And, uh, of course, nothing beats actually coming to see it. Well, go to the website if you're not already convinced to show up. Uh, again, all month, the Fall Rhapsody Exhibition with Gordon Harrison, but the special event is tomorrow, Thursday, 5 to 9 p.m., 
at 1016 Eglinton West, but go to the uh, website and get uh, specific details on how you can get your invitation. It's PetroffGallery.com.